What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm ODIJ and we are locked in. These are the exclusive photos for episode nine, Married to the Game, a book two ghost. Now with two episodes left, we're expecting some major deaths. And of course, you know, Tariq is gonna have to find his way out through this because right now, Noma and Detective Don Carter have partnered up to get rid of that common denominator. Now, before we jump into this and we break down these photos, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, recaps, live after show discussions, then hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button. And hey, we on that road to 75,000 subscribers. Thank you for helping me reach 50,000. So let's go ahead and read the description for episode nine and jump into these photos. Married to the Game, episode nine, a union that should bring the Tejadas and Noma together couldn't appear to be further apart. Tariq and Monet are sent on a seemingly simple mission. They find it to be much more than meets the eye. Now, this union that they're talking about is Kane and Noma officially tying the knot, and that's why I picked this as a thumbnail. We even see young Anya in the back with a bottle of wine. So it looks like the wedding is going down and Kane has bossed himself up. We have to start off with this wedding. Now it looks like they're having the wedding reception over at the penthouse, Kane's penthouse. Now I don't know what the hell Kane has on. He has on like a wool suit or something. I'm pretty sure it's designer, but this dinner table is where things always go wrong. It looks like Diana and Anya are sitting on the same tide. So they might be talking and you can see how Noma's looking at Diana. She already knows that Diana, she isn't too trustworthy. Plus she's a Tejada. But now that Noma's a Tejada, she's gonna have to show a little bit of respect to the family. And you know, Kane, he's gonna low key try to check her on this, but this can be a dangerous situation anytime Diana is at her dinner table. So Noma, she's just gonna have to watch it. And I'm not sure if Anya's gonna get the information about what her mama does via Diana, cause someone's gonna have to expose that eventually. In the last episode, we seen Anya and Kane. They kind of got a little bit close. She was asking about what he got going on. Why was her mom talking to someone half her age? So maybe she might be here trying to figure out what exactly her mom has going on. Now, Kane, it looks like he's going to be low key and not really saying anything because he doesn't want to mess up what he's building. And what I mean by what he's building, he's about to have control of Noma's enterprise. And she's already underestimating how smart he is and what his next move could be. So Anya, she might be wondering, okay, what Tariq got involved with this? How is Kane playing a role? Why are the Tejadas over here? Why was Monet mad last time she was here? So episode nine is where we start to see Anya's character develop a little bit and start to ask more questions and piece things together. So I'm assuming that this is Noma's brother. Maybe he finally showed up because now Noma is about to be legitimate. Once she marries Kane, she'll be able to get her green card. She'll be able to live here as an actual resident. So maybe she's telling her brother, look, you're going to have to meet these other people because I still don't trust them. Even though I'm marrying the Kane, I still don't trust Kane. So I'm assuming that this is her brother or this may be somebody Obi knows and he's basically showing up like, hey, man, what happened to my brother? Because remember, Obi's family was almost legitimized also thanks to Tariq and Tate. So whoever it is, when Noma gives you that look, my best advice for you is to do exactly what she says, because if not, she will send them hitters after you. So we need to find out who this gentleman is. Over at the bar, it's looking like Kane may have had a, a after marriage bachelor party. We got little Dirk here. We got two other guys that look like they shooting craps. They shooting some dice. You know how that goes. We got Drew showing up. Now, Drew and Kane, they aren't on the same page. Remember, Drew works directly for Don Carter. Kane is trying to protect what him and Noma have, and they clash, especially after Noma and Kane bought the warehouse. So I can see Drew a little upset, but he has to be here because at the end of the day, it is your brother, regardless of what you guys got going on in the streets. But Kane, it looks like he might be talking to little Dirk and telling him, oh yeah, Drew over there. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about him. He ain't on nothing. He trying to be like big bruh. And you know, Kane has really bossed up now. And knowing Kane, he's never going to miss a, a opportunity to go in on Drew, to make fun of Drew. Let him know, I'm your big bro. I'm supposed to be in charge. Now, Diana and Drew, they have a relationship with Drew. He was also a little bit upset with what Diana had moving forward. So these two, they're probably looking at Kane and they're annoyed by it because they were working for Noma. Now they work for Don Carter. But with Kane being married, 
that means whatever Noma tells them, they have to do what Kane says also because that's his wife now. So these two, man, it looked like it's gonna get ugly for them. We also seen in the trailer that there's gonna be some shooting with Drew and Diana. So they could be going after Noma and them and everyone is gonna separate. It just doesn't look good for Drew in the long run. Seeing Kane with Effie, we know how Kane feels. He might be married, but remember, it's supposed to be business only. Business between him and Noma. Now, Effie, she already feels a certain type of way. They did get close after he seen his LinkedIn profile. But Effie's probably questioning, who are these new people around Kane? Who are these people at the bar? We've never seen them before. And Kane's probably saying, I'm expanding the business. I'm really about to step it up because what me and Noma has, it ain't serious. Plus, you know, me and you, we feeling each other. Although we know Effie still has a soft spot in her heart for Tariq. So I'm just seeing Kane trying to make things work with Effie while keeping things going on with him and Noma and handling their business. And lastly, we see Drew and Diana. As I mentioned earlier, they're probably looking at everything Kane has going on and figuring out how they can either use this as leverage for Don Carter or just get from up under him, period, in general. Because there is going to be some shooting between Drew and Diana, a.k.a. Columbiana, the dynamic dummies. So we're going to see where they take this. But as I mentioned earlier, I don't believe that Drew is going to make it out of this season. So this could be the episode because we will need a major death. And it looks like Drew, since he's working with the police, he could be that sacrifice for the Tejada family. We're going to find out. But this is the exclusive photos for episode nine. All right, let me know what your predictions are for episode nine. How do you think it's going to play out with Kane and Noma getting married? Is Anya going to start figuring things out? Or is Anya still going to be left in the, the darkness and her and Kane start messing around and messing up everything? Let me know what you think. I'm Mo.J. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.